And we have the 400 Very. start list. Oh, yep, yeah, up on the screen on the there. Screen. Sam Lind on the inside, Louise Jones, Annalise Ruby, Morgan Mitchell, Caitlin Jones, Jess Thornton, Jess Gooley Nance, and Monica Brennan. Could this you run a 400, Catherine? I could shuffle one, I think. Shuffle. Yeah. Just as a warm-up jog? <laughs> I wouldn't call it running. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, this is one of the races of the evening. This is so exciting. Obviously, you've got Annalise Ruby, who was so great at the World Champs last year. She had Anna Alison Felix in her heat. What an experience. And she PB'd there, so she's got a 51-6 to her name now. And on her outside, Morgan Mitchell. And she has been the athlete of this season. She has got herself in phenomenal shape. She just looks brilliant. She looks like an elite athlete. You watch her walk past you in the in the corridors of the Meat Hotel, and and she she's in ripper neck. She looks fantastic. She looks like, you know, she'll she'll fit into the Olympic field just fine. Yeah, she's and you've she's got done really well. Caitlin Jones, formerly Caitlin Sargent, actually finding a little bit of shape again after her wedding yep. and starting to get faster, hopefully back into those uh, 52s, maybe eventually the 51s. But there's Morgan Mitchell, World Junior Rep in 2012 and then 2014, just exploded onto the scene, almost the second PB to, to get that Glasgow qualifier then. She was really upset last year. You could see it in her face when Annalise took the national title from her. And um, you can just see that with her behind the blocks. She wants this. Um, I'm really interested to see how the young Jess Thornton runs. She's out there in lane seven. She has phenomenal leg speed over 200. And she is an athlete at the age of 16, went to the World Youths and ran 52.5 to win it. You know, she took a, over a second off her PB to win that. She is a competitor. So she knows how to perform at a big race time. And yeah. so on the outside lane, youngster, it'll be interesting to see how her pace judgment is in a field like this, but we could see her leading coming into that front straight. Exactly. And you've got Caitlin Jones. She goes out hard as yeah. well. So we could see those two athletes maybe draw through Ruby and Morgan. Morgan sometimes likes taking it easy the first yeah. bit and then coming home strong. And we've seen Ruby do a few 800s. So she's also, she's got the speed. She's been a medalist at national champs in the two. She can run a pretty handy 800 as well. Yeah, we might see some changes happening in the front straight, which always makes it quite entertaining while you're watching but it's a tough event the one lapper but this is so exciting because the girls are qualified for the Rio Olympics in the 4x4 so even outside of these four there will be girls that will be trying to get on that plane as um, relay reserves and when you get to the middle of the year you know it's about who's running fast then so you want to be in the mix here at Nationals. Yeah we're not just looking at the first three we're looking at say yeah. fourth and fifth and sixth and just some fast times and I think with the wind conditions it, it does feel a little bit still it's been hot all day but it's settled down and I know there's been some very fast falls out in Sydney and I think we could see some more again. And that was and one thing that was a bit disappointing about London not to have a 4x4 uh, women's relay team so that's fantastic that we've qualified and we can watch and see who can make it. And they've just announced Monica Brennan. She's one to look. She saw the team qualify last year and obviously did a big winter. Thought she's going to step up from the 200s where she has great leg speed Yeah, too. well, she's been national champ previously over the yep. two. This is exciting. And we are away in the women's 400 metre final. From the inside, Lind, Jones, Ruby, Mitchell, Jones, Thornton, Gooley, Nance and Brennan. And Jess Thornton, she's absolutely tearing away down the back straight. I thought Caitlin Jones was going to go hard, but wow, Jess Thornton is turning it over. Tams, and you mentioned that leg speed before, but this is ridiculous. And it's, it's the danger of her being so young and lacking a bit of experience. It's her being in that outside lane, she doesn't have anyone really to, to, to gauge it off, but she's you know, she looked great in the heats, and if she can hold this form, she's going to make Morgan and Annalise really have to work to, to get the victory over her. Now we come into the home straight. Jess Thorne is leading. Morgan Mitchell fighting very hard. Everyone's cheering around her, but here comes Morgan Mitchell, the long striding Victorian. She's trying to catch her, but Jess is holding on. Morgan Mitchell just getting in front, and she's going to take it out. The national champion, this is very, very fast. 51.87. We might have to wait for this result here. 52.20 is the Olympic qualifier. Oh, Jess I'm Thornton so could be close. excited about that race. That was fantastic. Jess Thornton, you are a star of the future. That was an amazing run. And Morgan, beautiful under pressure. Oh, 52. She held her form and, and she was fantastic to be the national champion again. It's a, you know, it's a fast time, 51.84. But Jess Thornton in second as a youngster, PB, 52.33. And she was brave out there in the outside lane. That is 
is so close. Only 0.13. She was 0.06 from the 200 Olympic qualifier. And now she's point.